Question number one of this exercise says that using laws of exponents, simplify and write the answer in exponential form. We'll start with the very first bit. In this bit, we see that the three different numbers have got the same basis but different powers, and all the three numbers are in multiplication. So we will be using the product law of exponent, which says that when the bases are same and they are in multiplication, the powers must get added. So we will keep the same base, which is 3, and let's add the powers 2 plus 4 plus 8, and that gives us 3 raised to 14. So now coming to the second bit of the same question. Here we will be using a different law of exponent, which is the quotient law of exponent, as we see a division here. The bases are same, powers are different. In quotient law, we subtract the powers, keeping the same base. So we write 6 raised to 15 minus 10. So that will give us the answer 6 raised to 5. The third bit is again the product law of exponents. We will keep the same base which is A and let's add the powers 3 plus 2. That gives us the answer A raised to 5. Fourth bit also uses the product law of exponents itself. We will keep the same base which is 7 and we will add the powers that is x plus 2. So this is the answer for the fourth bit. In the fifth bit, we will see two different laws being used in the same question. So we first have 5 raised to 2 and this whole is raised to another power which is 3. So in such cases, the powers get multiplied. So we will get 5 raised to 2 times 3 which is 6. Now this is divided by 5 raised to 3. So as we know that in quotient law the powers get subtracted. We will write 5 raised to 6 minus 3 which is 3. So the simplified answer is 5 raised to 3. The sixth part of the question again uses a law of exponent but a different one. In here, we have got the same powers but the bases are different and the two numbers are in multiplication. So what can be done is, we will keep the same power but we will multiply the bases, that is 2 times 5 and this whole would be raised to 5 and that gives us the answer as 10 raised to 5. Now we will go on to the next set of bits. In the seventh bit, we will be using the same law which we just used in the previous bit, the sixth bit. That is, we see that the powers are same but the bases are different. The two numbers are in multiplication. So we will keep the same power but we will multiply the bases. So we will get A times B which is AB and this whole will be raised to 4. So this is the answer for the seventh bit. Coming to the eighth bit, we have already made use of a law which is will be used here in this part which is the 8th bit. We see a number which has got a power which is 3 raised to 4 and this number is also raised to another power which is 3. So we will read it as 3 raised to 4 whole raised to 3. In this case the powers get multiplied. So we will write 3 raised to 4 times 3 and that gives us the answer 3 raised to 12. So this is the answer for the 8th bit. Coming to the ninth bit, we'll first make use of the quotient law and we'll simplify the terms inside the brackets or the parentheses. So that will give us 2 raised to 20 minus 15 because there is a division here. Bases are same, powers are different. So in quotient law, the powers get subtracted. 20 minus 15 will give us 5. And this is multiplied to 2 raised to 3. Here we will be using the product law of exponents. Keeping the same base, the powers will get added. 5 plus 3 is 8. And so we get the answer as 2 raised to 8 for the ninth bit. Coming to the last bit of this question, which is the 10th bit. We have 8 raised to t divided by 8 raised to 2. Bases are same. They are in division. So what happens is we just subtract the powers. We keep the same base and 
we will subtract the powers. So it's t minus 2. And that is the answer for the 10th bit. And this is how we make use of different laws of exponents to simplify and write the final answer. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.